Who are you? Tell us a bit about yourself. I'm Emma Lucy. I'm an illustrator from Chester in Cheshire. I specialise in children book illustration and colouring sheets. I work with companies like Hobbycraft to create these. I studied fine arts at Chester University and then went on to study illustration at the University of Hertfordshire. Um, I live in Chester, um, which is a beautiful city, and I love being so close to my family. Can you tell us a bit about your work? My work started off with a kind of more fine art thing while I was studying it and gradually moved towards illustration. Um, I realised that I enjoyed doing children's books in particular. They had more of a whimsical style to them and it just showcased what I could do a little bit better. Um, I'm inspired by lots of things, but a lot of my work can be in simple kind of line art with colouring sheets, or it also moves to mixed media. I love to experiment with lots of media. Um, I think it's just the best way to find your own style. What inspires you in a creative sense? Um, I mean, I really love travelling. I think that is a great way to inspire you. Um, I also love going to museums and art galleries. I think seeing other artists' work is really important in developing your own style and gaining a proper understanding of your methods. Um, I think collaborating as well is really important. Um, that experimentation is definitely the most important thing for me. Uh, who have you collaborated with? Um, I've worked with companies such as Hobbycraft and working with the authors and the children's books, sort of turning their work into a images and things is, is a great way to work together. I think I've been really lucky with some of the authors I work with so far, such as Ruth Wenham. I think we work really well together. Tell us about your commission for Chester Visual Arts. My commission, um, the main piece in it is a colouring sheet, which depicts sort of art in the age of technology. It's a map that flows through. Um, it shows actual, um, you know, technological advances, artists that contributed to it. Um, over the past 50 years, um, and it will be part of an activity pack uh, for children aged 5 to 11. Imagery within the colouring sheet is inspired by the v exhibition, Chance and Control, which was brought to Chester by Chester Visual Arts in 2019. Other sheets in the pack um, are going to be like an inspiration sheet, information sheets as well. Um, that will show you what all of the images on the colouring sheet mean. Um, there will also be word search and things like that. The inspiration sheet is basically to try and get kids to think of what could be available in the future in terms of technology to be used within the visual arts. Um, it's going to have questions that will be thought provoking um, on the same themes. It will also have a space for them to invent or create their own to see what they can come up with. The aim of the pack is to get children's imagination going and uh, solicit them well based on the information they've been given in the pack. The pack is kind of a way to help children understand that, that technology is constantly changing and that pushing boundaries within uh, the visual arts is really important. The pack is designed to inspire and promote creativity. Uh, it can also be fun to brainstorm ideas. Um, about different technologies or methods that they might to, like to use um, as artists themselves in the future. So why do you think it's important that Chester has a creative visual arts centre and a public art gallery of international standing? And Chester has you know, always been a very creative city, I think, and gradually more and more so with things like Story House. And you know, there's always something going on. Mystery plays are fantastic too. Um, but actually having a space dedicated to visual arts, which is what Chester Visual Arts are trying to do, is something I think is really important. We need something that has more of a focus, um, that brings artists from outside of Chester in. Um, I think it's something that could be quite exciting to have in our city. So how can people find out more about what you do? I have an official website, which is emilyseillustration.com. Um, that has all of my work to date and a lot of extra bits you can find on there too. I also have a blog on there, 
uh, which includes um, all the information about my work, um, future projects and collaborations. Um, I use the social media platforms as well, mainly Instagram and Twitter. My Instagram is Anna Lucy Illustration and my Twitter is Anna Lucy Art. So they're all great for popping up studio bits and extra behind the scenes things as well. And if you do download the activity pack, um, it would be wonderful if you could either upload it to the official Chester Visual Arts website or tag us on social media. Um, so we'd love to see what you've come up with.